Yo, what is up, everybody? We are back with some more House Flipper, and today we're starting the first of the three uh, Cyberpunk DLC houses that were added for free. And we're at the, a room for enhancements. This looks like a kitchen. Yeah, so it looks like kitchen. We got a fucking fridge and shit. Coffee maker, toaster, oven, sink. Always thought the cyberpunk stuff looked kind of cool with all the fucking lights and stuff on it. This is a sink. This one look cool. Alright. And I here got these type of lights. My house to look at it. One thing I don't like about this game with the two stories. You're up here, you could get the lights on from up here, but it's still dark down there. When you're down here, it doesn't show the lights on because the lights are only on in the room that you're currently in. That's why it's a different room, so it's got the lights down here. But we got like a like a living room, den type area. I believe this is a pretty small apartment type place, so this would be the living room. Like the lights on the stairs. Got a little bedroom over here. A rustic bed. Look outside. Night city. Uh, it's probably not night city, but... Just thinking it is cyberpunk, regardless. Man, that fucking flex off of that brightly. That fucking light switch at. Man, fucking blinding right there. Here we go. A little bathroom in here. All right, so here are the plans. This is the top floor, the little entryway with the kitchen that we just looked at. And here is the bottom floor with like the living room and the bedroom and bathroom. We're not going to do anything differently structurally. What we are going to do though is kind of modernize it. Kind of like what we did with the castle. So we are done here. I painted all the walls. This, uh, I forgot what the paint was. I needed to find some more of it earlier and fucking couldn't uh, remember what the paint was and it took me forever to find it. Yeah, I don't even fucking know. Some type of uh, gold or champagne or something. I don't fucking know. I mean, at times you can kind of see the texture. I don't know if that's just the wall texture or if that's supposed to be the paint. I can see right there, but that's the color that we use for the whole house for the actual painting. We did do some of this uh, leaf-like uh, wallpaper, or whatever, for the kitchen and that little accent wall. Our kitchens like this, we replaced all of the cabinets that were in here and basically replaced them with a, a replica, just not uh, cyberpunk-like. It's like normal. Um, I think it's a Mel American Elm. I think it's the wood top that we chose. Or I chose or whatever in here. Um, I put this red little refrigerator here. I wanted something bigger that would go all the way across. But nothing would fit there. It would either be something small like this. Or a really big one. Or that cyberpunk one that fit there a little bit better. It did have a little bit of a gap. But yeah. I went ahead and went with the red since... The floor, I use wood, red wood paneling or whatever, and I added this little tile here. Uh, they had, I think, alt tile in here. They had like a, that little part, a different color or something. So, we'll have put that there, and then the panels here. And as y'all can tell, I didn't use the same panels. But like up here, when you come in, that's typically how you want uh, your floor to be looking. You don't want it going with you. 
you want to go in a, the opposite direction side to side so same thing when you go in here you want them side to side i want to change it right there that doorway um i went ahead and left these lights i think this is the same lights in the same spots that it was at before with the cabinets underneath them whatever these cabinets are taller but oh well and i changed out all the actual lights to more of these more i guess modern not really modern but more modern time type lights i guess you could say um also i changed out the toaster and the coffee maker for a regular one um sink looks a little different but yeah I, I like it it's basically a replica just more current day standings i guess here i changed out all those lights to that Took out the lights that were up here um i did replace it with these right here for down there I'm trying to make it a little bit brighter and I took off the little cyberpunk type images that were over here. I'm just put a giant ass fucking uh, poster there or painting or something. Yeah, I don't like how those lights turn off when you go down here. I don't like it being that dark. But I did add those three there. Also got rid of all of these uh, windows that were here and blinds. I didn't put new blinds up, but I did add new windows. It's the ones that were there were cyberpunk -y like. I like how this door is, but you can't change the entrance doors. Otherwise, I would have changed that and put that as a regular. But I did go through and change out all the windows. Um, cleaned it up and left a lot of the stuff. I changed out the lights that were over here on the wall and replaced it with those. But everything else is about the same. I went ahead and left more of the cyberpunk-like uh, table lamps. There's one there. One there. And then I don't know if you'd call this cyberpunk or not. Kind of gives me like more of an Asian feel. Also, I kind of went with the wood flooring that's red. And then the, kind of like the goldish color uh, wallpaper. Also kind of gives me like an Asian type vibe. That's kind of what I went with there. I left all the same furniture and stuff. I did change the stairs a little bit. Change the lights maybe. I might have kept the same lights. Um, but I changed the actual base of the stairs, kind of like a cream color to kind of match the wall. And again, I have the planks as you're coming down, right like this. But once you get over here, that's the steps. It starts going the opposite direction. If they in here, I went ahead and left it, to having it go opposite. But I did add like a uh, little piece right there in the doorway. It did not have a door here. I don't know why, but I went ahead and left it, you know, missing since they didn't have one originally. And then also I replaced the window that was in here with another modern one. Oh, hey, kept that at an angle. I thought that was kind of like more of a, you know, creative flair. This right here, I do believe is the more of a cyberpunk type filing cabinet or storage cabinet or whatever. It's not filing, but yeah, I went ahead and left it. You know, you can have that if they want. I did change out the bed. Um, I straightened up this. I know I left that one at angle. Once a little off center, I straightened it up first and then added the bed and had to scoot the bed over a little bit better. Because uh, I didn't want it too close to that door and stuff. As well as I changed this. Instead of having the round light, I just went and did the long rectangle there. And then I added this door. It does have two things of glass. Uh, I, I would imagine it being more like frosted glass, not like actual see throughable, but whatever. I changed out all the wall or the tile on here to these uh, shell type tiles and replaced the flooring, the same uh, flooring tile pattern that we had up in the kitchen and cleaned it up, replaced the upper punk cabinets that were over here and sink as well as the ones with the uh, towels that lit up and stuff and then they had a standing one over here i replaced that with that too so everything's been kind of replaced and more modernized i guess except that filing cabinet and the entry door but besides that that's about it I i'm pleased the way this looks Alrighty, that's gonna be it for this episode. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so you get notified when we upload new videos in. Leave a like and comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Until next time, peace out, Ely. Everybody love everybody.